Good evening, dear listeners, and welcome to Glorious Life Gospel Radio FM 90.0. I am Pastor Ade Isidor, and I have with me in the studio Brother Chinda Elvis. We are back, as promised last week, to continue with our lessons against the false teachings of uh, the movement called Israelite Saints of Christ. We talked on a number of topics last week. We handled the aspect of salvation to the whole world for Israelites and non-Israelites. And we also talked about the aspect of uh, color having nothing to do with our salvation, that God's salvation comes to us irrespective of color. Uh, today, we will be looking at the aspect of uh, Sabbath. It would be good for us to remember that this group emphasizes on Sabbath worship. And it's, a, it, it's one of their key doctrines, calling people to observe the Sabbath. They claim that worship is true only when it is done on the seventh day of the week, which is known in Israel as the Sabbath. That is what we are going to have in our program today, and uh, we will be uh, working on this question. Is the Sabbath for the New Testament church, is the Sabbath for the New Testament church, does the New Testament church have to observe the Sabbath? When our telephone lines will be opened, everyone coming on the program must first of all answer this question. Is the Sabbath for the New Testament church? Does the New Testament church have to observe the Sabbath? That would be the talking point, the question by which everyone will come to the program. That is to say, you answer the question before you continue to say whatever you have to contribute on this program. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us on FM 90.0 tonight. We thank you for your grace that has gathered your people from north, south, east, and west on this frequency to receive truth tonight. We thank you because your word has always led. Your word has always guided us into your perfect will. We are here tonight with expectation to have another dosage of it, Lord. Father, May your wisdom take us through this program and uh, may your power heal your people wherever they are and in whichever conditions. Father, keep them on this frequency with comfort, with peace and good health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I go like may our brother salute we, make it tell we about how important this program is go day so that may all of us our appetite day up. Uh, thank you, Pastor. I salute uh, all listeners and whether they on on this uh, frequency. It be a privilege for me to be here with Pastor. Forgive our the understanding on uh, the Sabbath because we don't hear a lot out there, especially from this uh, the last the latest one we will get uh, for a year now with this uh, group where they call themselves uh, the Israelite Saints of Christ. So they get a lot of uh, misquoting uh, and understanding the Bible concerning that uh, aspect. So as pastor don't talk, we will answer the question, what are the Sabbath be for the New Testament church? So thank you, pastor. Okay. God bless you, our brother. Uh, thank you very much because you don't get personal encounters with these people. You give them time for really listen to wait the way that they talk. You take your time for highlight their points, go through their material, their tracks, the way they share them, and you'll be initiate this broadcast where we don't bring them up and where plenty of people don't testify of how the program be of blessing to them. We go begin by giving a definition of uh, the Sabbath. We get a number of scriptures for rhythm, good number of uh, subtopics here. We would look at the law of the Sabbath. We go to look at uh, which way Sabbath will be stand for. We go to look at how the Lord Jesus, if he broke the Sabbath. And we go to look at 
the New Testament church in relationship with this uh, law of the Sabbath. We will talk about the church in freedom from this law of the Sabbath. In the sense that the Lord, you don't fulfill them, we don't get into the actual Sabbath. So we don't need Sabbath as in the Israelite, their practice. So uh, maybe we begin with the definition of Sabbath. Then our brother will read for all scriptures from Exodus uh, chapter 20. Sabbath in Hebrew, na Shabbat, where it means a rest. The word Sabbath in Hebrew, na Shabbat, it means a rest. Uh, when we read them from our English Bible, it says Sabbath, we be actually talking and say rest. And uh, in this context, now God ye rest. We go read this passage of scripture. Our brother go read them for we before we continue. Exodus uh, 20, uh, uh, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it shall not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Okay. I would like me we look at uh, that verse 11 particularly. It talks it for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. So Sabbath is start from the idea, say God, if he create in six days, and then he rest on the seventh day. May we try to describe this Sabbath as in the Jewish society. It will start from 6 p.m. on the sixth day, and then it will end at 6 p.m. on the seventh day. As we know, say Saturday in our context now, it being at the seventh day of the week, we now understand, say, when it being at 6 p.m. on Friday, Sabbath is start. It go end at 6 p.m. on Saturday. And according to way to way, we we'll see them in this passage of scripture, Exodus 20 from verse 8 to 11. No work, no work in nobody go on. That is, the people be gate for Shidong in their houses, or as we see them in other passages, they be fit only go to the synagogues for go read the scriptures and for pray. Apart from that, you know the cook, you know the wash clothes, you know the farm, you know the carry out any activity, no labor, you know the doer. It will be an instruction from God say, no work. We go also see say, anybody will be disobey. That is to say, he carry out any activity, any work on the Sabbath, he be get for be killed. Our brother will read for us, the consequences of breaking the Sabbath in Exodus chapter 31 verse 14. It says there, You shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Okay, we see a statement in that uh, Verse 14 of Exodus 31 Say everyone that defileth it Shall surely be put to death Say if anybody Disobey the law of the Sabbath It will be killed And as so it will go on We go let us see Say the Jewish uh, Community it will want to kill Jesus because Jesus be broke the Sabbath And as so it will go on In their community if you be, be Caught doing any work on that day of rest, you will be killed. So before we move to our next point, we see in these passages the word of read them say, this rest, it be being a God ye rest. Because God be created in six days, then he rest on the seventh day. 
So man it be be called the Israelites and being God's creation, they be be called for join God in his rest. So we get for keep this one very uh, straightly in our minds. Say the rest, it be be now God ye rest. But he call you creation, make it join ye in his rest. Mm-hmm. So it be become man ye rest, now because first of all, now God ye rest, then God he called man, make it join him in his rest. In the next point where we did look at, we go see where to where this rest it be stand for. Before our brother go read with some passages of scripture, may we ask ourselves some questions for here, where the questions go lead us into understanding where we will be about for talk. So if the Bible talks say, God be do creation for six days, then rest on the seventh day. The question be say, God is the tire. <laughs> it means say God be work for six days, then he get tired uh, where he be need literal rest. Because when we talk about rest, we know say rest it come because of tiredness. So if the Bible talks to me, we join God in his rest. And it put them in the context, say we don't get for do physical work. Because physical work it bring tiredness. Does it mean, say God, it be work and it be get tired? Another question I say, can God be tired? How is he God? Where he go become tired. How is he God? Where if he works so they become tired. Okay. By definition, God be self-existent and self-sufficient in if he get tired. In if he get tired where he go need literal rest. So when the Bible, the talk say God, he be rest. Which kind of language he be that? This point go be very important because the people them around town, where the worker teach, say people get from us observe the Sabbath. They get from us observe the Sabbath. They no understand what he way he really mean by God resting. Now why that way they still stand on that thing say Sabbath. So our answers to these questions it go help them for understand why they must abandon that thing rather be born again. For join the church of the Lord Jesus Christ where now ye get the true rest in the Holy Ghost. Okay. The rest of God, when the Bible talks, say God rest, it not be na rest like we when we walk, we get tired, then we rest. Rest in this context, it means that say God indicate fellowship with his creation. Mm-hmm. So that in fellowshipping with his creation, God did get pleasure, God did get honor as his creation the worshipy. Take note again, when the Bible talks, say God be work in six days and then he rest on the seventh day, it no means say God be tired. It simply means say God be then enjoy the work of his hands, if fellowship with his creation, your creation a worshipy God he receive honor. God be pleased as your creation he put attention on him, the creator, the creation worshipy and give you the honor where it deserve him. I think at this point I begin to bring some example uh, but before we bring the examples our brother go read for we some scriptures. Genesis chapter 1 verse 31 and Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Revelation 4.11 Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. We see inside Genesis 1.31 say, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Take note. God, after doing creation, he looked back at the work of his hands, at the product of his wisdom and power. God, he began pleasure. God, be look and say, wait, wait, it do him, it be very good. This one, we fit for understand him, 
because we self humans we get things the way with the originator we get things the way with the designer and when we don't finish our work we the always observe them for get pleasure from there we know about builders when a builder don't construct a house very well he did take some distance stand observe that house and then he get pleasure because of the work of his hands we know about designer they may be now for clothes when they don't design some very nice dress they did take time look them and then they get pleasure from how nice the dress it be so now in that sense where the bible talks say god rest god he rest na ye pleasure from your creation inside revelation chapter 4 verse 11 it talks say god he be worthy for receive glory honor and power because he create all things for his pleasure take note of that word pleasure that pleasure na god he rest In Genesis 1:31 it talks say God see the things say be, be very good. He see your creation say be very good. In Revelation 4:11 it talks say God he create all things for your pleasure. So the word Shabbat in Hebrew or Sabbath in English it means say rest. And this rest no be rest like say God don't tire then he the rest. This rest is stand for pleasure. God it receive pleasure from his creation because God no one may your creation it be away from him he want for fellowship with his creation and when God the fellowship with his creation it did give God pleasure it did like a father or parents where they sit at the dining table with their children as they did enjoy food with their children they did look at their offspring It did give them pleasure. They did look at picking the way they don't burn them, picking the way they burn them after their own image. That one it did give them pleasure as parents. So Sabbath it actually means say God you rest, and rest figuratively it means say God you pleasure where it did come from fellowship with His creation. I take the point over. Sabbath it means say God you rest. And this rest it be figurative of God ye pleasure where it did come from fellowship with his creation as we don't see him in those two passages I go give some examples in the bible we get the story of uh, Mary and Martha where they be been at two sisters and as we know they be be two sisters of Lazarus where be died Jesus go resurrect him for John 11 So Mary and Martha be be visited by the Lord Jesus Christ at one time and uh, Jesus be the converse with them to teach them things about the kingdom of God. Mary if be just day at the feet of Jesus it give very keen attention to wait where Jesus be to teach. But Martha be be worried. If be one go find chop for can give me Jesus chop As it go maybe in the kitchen it is labor for make chop maybe ready and then he see Mary it they focus but on Jesus he teachings matter now he asks the Lord Jesus say why Mary he no can join ye matter may they prepare chop so that may all them chop he be expect say Jesus go hear about physical chop and then be excited talk say oh Mary allow this spiritual food and go get physical food matter be the expect say nothing that will go happen but jesus be tell he say you dey be busy about chop where it be okay but mary he don't choose something where it be better so he talk say that fellowship that attention when mary be put am on jesus that communication that fellowship that word of god where they be talk about it be be more important than the physical chop i want we for understand say god he don't always want that kind fellowship with man mm-hmm. we we dey close to god in meditation in worship in prayer so that we get that communion with god we dey in fellowship with god Now why that way Jesus be talk say Mary he don't choose the right thing. And uh, 
Another example day in the Garden of Eden, Adam, he began plenty tree there for eat from, but a tree of life be be put at the middle of the garden. That tree be standing now for fellowship with God. So when Adam, after he don't go around chop from every other tree, when he go to the tree of life for chop, that one be be significant because it be be a point of fellowship, communion with God. God be one that one. Okay. When humans say the fellowship with God, it will give God pleasure. It will give God pleasure. And this pleasure where God will get them, now wait it that way, Sabbath stand for. Sabbath is stand now for communion with God, fellowship with God, worshipping God, union with God. Because if you limit your understanding of Sabbath to rest, in the first sense, don't know say God do the rest because God know the tire. Now why that way Jesus be talking the book of John say my father is always working. God in the tire like we the tire. God in the tire. So when the Bible talks says Sabbath, say God he rest, it be figurative of pleasure. God he pleasure way it he get them from fellowship, union, communion with the creation. Okay, we go read a passage of scripture here in Hebrews chapter 4. Our brother go read them for we, okay. so that uh, we go explain how the New Testament church it be understand how we Sabbath it be means say rest and this rest it be in a communion, union and fellowship with God. Uh, would you read from Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 to 10? It talks it for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that hurt it. For we which have believed do enter into rest. As he said, as I have sworn in my raft, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in the place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom I was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart. For if Jesus had given them rest, then will he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remained therefore a rest to the people of God, for he that is entered into his rest, he also had caused from his own works, as God did from his. Okay, a number of things the day we will fit for, bring them out as far as this rest be concerned. So, here the writer of Hebrews, he did write for tell the Israelites, where they become Christians, but for some reasons they are faith to be shaken. The writer of Hebrews did tell them, say, Jesus Christ it be be the rest. That is, Jesus be be the Sabbath way God be promised unto the Israelites. Say, Jesus, it be be not the rest. If you look at inside verse 9, it say, there remained therefore a rest to the people of God. After he put an argument for here, he read for verse 9 now, he give a clear statement about the argument. He said the Israelites, even though they observe the Sabbath, they still need rest because the Sabbath will only be a pointer to something. Mm -hmm. Now they point that. Now what they talk said, there remain therefore a rest to the people of God. People of God for here, it referred to Israel. If you look at the statements, the way Paul first made them for here, he talks say, for verse 8, he said, for if Jesus had given them rest, if you look at other translations of the Bible, they will tell you, say, for if Joshua had given them rest. 
because the land of Israel will equally be another pointer to this rest. So they will enter the land of Israel from Egypt now for go get rest. But as Joshua will lead them into that land, they no be get the rest. Mm -hmm. They will continue for observe the Sabbath day, but that Sabbath day again, it no still be the rest. All those things they will be appoint us to the real rest. Now why that way, the writer of Hebrews, he tell them for years, say, if the Israelites do not enter the rest, God know for the talk to them again about rest. Now why that way for verse 9, he then talks, say, there remained therefore a rest to the people of God. Say, the Israelites, where they still keep the Sabbath, they still need rest because they never enter that rest. Now the same thing where would he tell this uh, Sabbatarians uh, for town here, the people where the one people begin worship on Sabbath, they need the rest of God. They still need the real Sabbath because them they so they never observe that Sabbath. They never get that rest where Sabbath stand for. They never get them. Okay, if you look in this passage, verse three, here wait where it talk. That is Hebrews chapter four, verse three. It says, "For we." which have believed, do enter into rest. Into rest. Mm -hmm. Believe for here, not the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we talk, because the writer of Hebrews, he did write for ground these Hebrew Christians in the Christian faith. For ground them. Now why that way we get key statements in the book of Hebrews, like looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher Jesus. of your faith. Jesus, the same yesterday, today and forever. Because it will be the objective of the book for say, may the people that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their God come in flesh to save them. Okay. The writer of Hebrews, he talked for verse 3, say, we, we would not believe in the Lord Jesus. That is, the Israelites in particular, mm -hmm. where they don't believe in Jesus, they don't enter that into that rest. rest. That is to say, they don't enter into the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. They don't enter into communion, into fellowship with God. They don't enter the real relationship with God mm -hmm. because of their faith. And then if he talks, say, the other Israelites, them, they be hear the word of God, but they don't believe in the Lord Jesus, so they don't enter the rest. May we read Matthew chapter 11, verses 27 and 28. All things are delivered unto me of my father. And no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. And he to whosoever, whosoever the Son will reveal him, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest. Take note of that word, rest. Okay, Jesus be the talk to a Jewish community. He tell them, say, all things be delivered unto him by ye Father. That's the God of Israel. Verse 28. He talks, say, come unto me. He recalled the Israelites. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He talks, say, go give them rest. That is to say, it be the fulfillment of the Sabbath to them. Wait, wait, they, they try to get them in the Sabbath, a day in the Lord Jesus. Because in the Sabbath, they will be asked not to do any work but to put their focus on the Creator, for put their attention on the, the Creator. Now, why that way on that day, the only thing where they be free do now for go to the synagogues or the temple, read the scriptures and pray and worship God. Mm -hmm. That is to say, put off your attention from any earthly business so that you get fellowship with your Creator for please Him. So Jesus be tell them for here and say, whatever you be the gate from the Sabbath, Come to me, I will give you the rest. Come to me, and I will give you the rest. So the simple message for here now say, Jesus Christ, it be that rest where the Israelites will be to get them in the Sabbath. Jesus be that point of fellowship between God and men. Now why does Jesus be talk say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You understand, say, the Jews, when they be the sit uh, in on the Sabbath 
or when they be the worship on the Sabbath, they be the worship the God of Israel. So Jesus be tell them, say, all things are delivered unto me by my Father. That is to say, in the incarnation, he did reveal the Father. Then he tell them, say, come unto me. It is not you going again to the Father. You come to me because I'm the revelation of the Father, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Just as the Israelites on the Sabbath be the commune with uh, God, forget rest. Now, so Jesus tell them, say, come unto me, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. These people, the way that they observe Sabbath, they don't get rest from the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus, they call them for come unto him and receive rest. Because under the new covenant, Jesus don't fulfill the law of the Sabbath. Sabbath. And now he don't release rest. And uh, at this point, we go explain something for here where it be very serious before we take uh, the next point where they talk about Jesus Christ say he broke the Sabbath. When Jesus be talk, say, come unto me and I will give you rest. Wait he be actually mean. Wait he be actually mean. Dear listeners, may we not get something very well. May we not get something very well. On Glorious Life Gospel Radio, we don't always teach. Say Jesus, we provide two elements for salvation. Your blood and your spirit. Okay. Wait to be the reason for the spirit. The Bible tell we say at the creation of man, God be put his spirit inside man. And that spirit, now you be give connection between man and God. But in the fall of man, man be lose that spirit of God where he be need for receive and back. Now why that way God be talk say, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Now why that way Jesus be talk say, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, even if he become a citizen of God's kingdom. Now why that way Apostle Paul talk in Romans chapter 8, verses 14, 15 and 16 say, as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. We have received the spirit of adoption by which we cry out about Father. Mm -hmm. And he also tell us, say, now by the spirit, we will be baptized into the body of Christ. And he talks, say, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is to say, when you be a citizen of God's kingdom, now a spiritual union with the Father mm -hmm. by the spirit, that is God, the invisible presence, it will connect with you as you don't be filled with that presence. Okay. Now for day we humans that they get their rest. Mm -hmm. In that proximity with God. In that connection with God. Because by your presence we don't unite with your spirit. God will release peace into your spirit. It's like Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. The Bible tell we say. The fruit of the spirit. Now love, joy, peace. Mm -hmm. Take note of the word peace. And the Bible talks say. As we be justified by the blood of Christ, we get peace with God. So in the born again experience where the spirit of Christ it be received, it will make you the temple of the Holy Spirit. It will bring the presence of God into you. You day in union with God. Now for the way you be a true worshiper in spirit and in truth. And now for the way God did give you pleasure. Now for the way God, your pleasure, it will also release peace into your spirit. Like how the Bible talks, say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength because in worshiping God, in being obedient to God, in being in communion and fellowship with God, God, it will derive pleasure from there. And the joy of the Lord, it is strengthen you. It will equally release peace. It will give you spiritual strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. The point where at the maker, in summary, now say, we define rest now in the Lord Jesus Christ. When you don't believe in Jesus and you be born again of water and of the spirit, now for day you will enter rest. If you never get the blood of Christ applied to your life, where it wash away your sin, so that you feel stand clean before God, you never get rest. If the spirit of Christ he never indwell you. You no get rest. Jesus be tell the Israelites and say, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. Inside John chapter 7 from 37 to 39, Jesus be talk say, Anyone will believe on him. Out of your belly it will flow rivers of living water. And that rivers of living water, 
John be interpreted and saying that the Holy Ghost, where Jesus began for pour him out on believers. Mm -hmm. Jesus be tell the woman at the well, say, woman, I did ask you physical water, may you give me make a drink. If you be know who will really ask you this water, you for no say, if he give you water, we pass the one way, you get up. Wait to wait, Jesus be mean that the spirit of life. When the spirit of Christ they come into us, it they give us rest. Just as water they quench our thirst, the spirit of Christ they come inside of us for give us rest in our spirit. So when Jesus be talk, say, come unto me and I will give you rest. If he talk now about your blood and your spirit, will they get them? Especially your spirit in this context, mm -hmm. will they get them in the born again experience? experience. Okay, the Sabbath, it be the point not to this rest. Now, why that way the writer of Hebrews, he talk him very clearly for Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 say, For we which have believed do enter into rest. If you never believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, say, He provide your blood and your spirit, now for bring you back to God so that you get spiritual rest, then you know they inside that rest. The Israelites, the way they still observe Sabbath today, they never enter inside that rest. Now, so the writer of Hebrews, they talk. Mm -hmm. The one they took for the town, since that way they never received the Spirit of Christ, they never enter that rest. And anybody where they teach Sabbath, now because he ignore the work of Christ. He ignore the elements of salvation provided by the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, we will move now in the next topic, we na say Jesus if he broke the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And uh, before our brother read with this passage from Matthew chapter 12, I go like for talk say from my personal encounters with some of these uh, Sabbatarian them, they go tell you say Jesus and the apostles they nobody ever broke the Sabbath. Say they be endorsed the Sabbath and they be observed the Sabbath even at the point of the New Testament church from Pentecost. It be something where it is surprise we Say somebody feed you read the gospels, then in the DC I'm say Jesus be broke the Sabbath. Really? It is shock we. Okay, may our brother read that for we. Okay, will you read from Matthew to, uh, chapter 12? Will you read from verse 1 to 8? At that time Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples were on and hungry, and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was an hungry and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of God and did eat the shewbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priest. Or have ye not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what is what it, this, this minute, minute yes. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Ye will not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Thank you. The first thing we want to pick out for here and I say, the disciples of Jesus, they be broke the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. They be broke the law of the, the Sabbath. Sabbath. And Jesus standing there, you know, be condemned them. You know, condemn them. The Pharisees, they become, they, they condemn these disciples, but Jesus no be condemned them. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus, he be give them a teaching, even bringing in David as an example. Jesus tell them, say, David, if he go into the house of the Lord on the Sabbath day, and if he eat of the showbread, when not only Levites, they be chop that showbread. If he go inside, he take that bread, the chopper. Jesus, they look at the situation where, if God permit you for violate your rest, then it be okay. Mm -hmm. It will be important for we for look at the mission where God be put David day. David, it be actually day at war. So with the army of Israel, they may be hungry. They be go into the house of God and they collect from there the chop. The assignment where they be carrying out, it be be that God the assignment. 
So if they be go against something where it be of God for fulfill divine mission as God it be assigned them, Jesus the talk for here say it not be be wrong, and Jesus the imply say the Sabbath it not be be na an end. The Sabbath as sitting in on the seventh day of the week it not be be na an end. It be rather be a pointer. To something else. Mm -hmm. God way it be give them that instruction for sit in. If it forgive them a new direction. If it forgive them an instruction on that same day. And it no go be na a sin. Mm -hmm. So David no be be condemned. Jesus he tell them say. As David be enter the temple. Now so other prison. They be also profane the temple. Mm -hmm. And then he tell them say. Someone is thank for them for they will be greater than the temple. Because the temple will be the tabernacle of God as well as Jesus' body it be the New Testament tabernacle of God greater than the temple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus talks, say, one is stand among the way be greater than the temple. He be referred to himself. Then he talks, say, ye Jesus be the Lord of the Sabbath. Meaning, say, as God the Father revealed in flesh, the Sabbath na ye own. If he decide for forfeit ye rest, if it decide for go against something when for your pleasure, for rescue your creation, mm -hmm. for achieve something we go equally give you glory. Mm -hmm. For example, if I don't keep Monday as my resting day, but on that same Monday, I decide say, instead of resting, I go go out, do evangelism. No, let me decide. Yes. Now me I before choose the day saying I'm a resting day. Mm -hmm. So if I decide for use that day for something else we go give me fulfillment, nobody no give for condemn me. Mm -hmm. So Jesus be the talk for yes, say it be Lord of the Sabbath. That is to say, it be the God of Israel come in flesh. So if it for do whatever he want for do on the Sabbath, if it for redirect the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So the conclusion we'll get for here and I say, Jesus Christ as the God of Israel come in flesh. It be get the authority for broke the Sabbath, for violate the law of the Sabbath. Because say that Sabbath it be be na ye rest. So it be fit for use the rest for do any other thing we go bring glory to him. Mm -hmm. You remember, say be give example, say which of una day for here way, if your sheep it fall into a ditch, that is it fall inside some hole or some valley mm -hmm. on the Sabbath day, you go leave them, make it die. You no go leave them. Even though now your time of rest, you go put aside your rest for go rescue your sheep. Your sheep. So the Sabbath be God you rest. But the very God, if he decide for use the Sabbath for some other thing we go bring glory to his name, bring salvation to your creation, mm -hmm. you man be no get any right for condemn ye. Because mm -hmm. na ye rest. Na ye rest. Okay. So may we read John chapter 5 verse 18. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him because he had not only broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Okay. The Jews they conclude that for here, as Apostle John writer, said they be one for kill Jesus. Not only because he don't broke the Sabbath. So we see him for they say Jesus be broke the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. It be important for these guys for town here. For no say the Lord Jesus, he be broke the, the Sabbath. Sabbath. His disciples, they be broke the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And they be broke the Sabbath because they be one for pass across two things. One, Jesus, he be the God of Israel, come in flesh. The Sabbath na he own, so he fit for do whatever he want for do with them. And no man he no give for condemn ye. Two, Jesus, he fulfilled the Sabbath because the Sabbath, it no be being a, an end. The Sabbath be rather be a pointer, pointer to the elements of salvation, especially Jesus, his spirit, we will get them. The rest where we get them with God, now in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. It is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Okay. Something they were go like, may we point out for you, will be very good. You remember, say, inside Exodus chapter 31, verse 14. Uh -huh. God be give an instruction, say, anybody where it defiled the Sabbath, make it be put to death. To death. Now, why that way the Israelites, the, when Jesus be done broke the Sabbath, they, they be one for killing. killing. Okay. 
these Sabbatarian them are like hypocrites. <laughs> Plenty of them, they did defy the Sabbath and them never kill them. Mm -hmm. We go take them serious now the day way they go catch some of those they are faithful the way they still broke the Sabbath, they kill them. Yeah, because even on the Sabbath, the person will not be get for buy. No you sell. don't be get for buy no sell. You don't be even get for travel. For cook even for yourself. Yes. So, but my brother, go like me, you tell me something here. You never don't deceive them. The very Sabbath preacher them. You never see them immediately walk out for town, do business. I don't deal with uh, one, even though no be this uh, group we are recently encountered. I don't deal one for Southwest. He own a shop. He did ever sell it, always. He did day on his, uh, his activities. Uh -huh. But he did claim the Sabbath. Even though by that time, I know we don't be into the gospel, but when I be finally can't get the truth, I see and say that one be being a hypocrisy because he did talk about the Sabbath, but he need to keep the Sabbath because if he begin for keep the Sabbath, even that day, he no go get for sell and he no go, he no go get for buy. Mm. He no go get for travel. Yes. Go anywhere. The truth be said inside the Bamenda, about seven out of ten of those that he talk about that Sabbath thing, Seven of them they did violate them. Because they don't one, know. One of the advocates of this uh, Sabbath worship for Saturday they hustle the highest. <laughs> it is hustle. I know plenty of the way that they travel, so that they go to school, go teach. Mm -hmm. They go teach. And they've been a hypocrite because they need to catch those people where they defile the Sabbath, kill them. They need mm -hmm. kill them. Because this Sabbath day, so it began law say any man will defile and made a killer. Made a killer. They be even one kill Jesus. Mm -hmm. So they want the way they need to kill themselves for disobeying this thing, missing a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Now hypocrite. In fact, even though the day in error, we go take them serious now, only the day where the rest have killed themselves as they, <laughs> as they, as they, as they claim say people need to obey the Sabbath. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these guys now hypocrites. You see, like uh, Brother Divine from Quen, when uh, one big advocate for this thing, so we want to see Brother Divine may catch these other violators of uh, Sabbath, make it catch and kill them before we know say be serious. <laughs> <laughs> because the Israelites, the way they be observe the Sabbath, they be equally get the mandate to kill whoever defile them. Yeah. So if their own observation of Sabbath, it need to bring the consequences, then they be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Yes. May we not kill we not sell more, mm. no say. <laughs> because you see, even uh, in the wilderness, the Israelites them on the on, on the from Egypt, they not be even get for go pick the the, the, the manna. Yes. They not be get for pick them. So you see how serious it will be. But they want to work and hustle their job the town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We want for look now at the next point. Say the church it be free from the law of the Sabbath. The church it be free. Because the Lord Jesus, he don't bring us into perfect rest. He don't fill us with the Holy Spirit. We do now worship the Father in spirit and in truth. We get communion with God, fellowship with God by the Spirit. Not be based on days. Mm -hmm. Our fellowship with God will not be based on days. Mm -hmm. Our fellowship with God will be based on our spiritual union with God. So Jesus, he don't bring us into the real rest. As the writer of Hebrews, if he talks, say, we will don't believe in the Lord Jesus. We don't come into that rest. Mm -hmm. So make our brother read for we Colossians chapter two from verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, had he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled 
principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of any holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Thank you, my brother. In this passage of scripture, Apostle Paul he established a number of things. The very first one I say, Jesus Christ, he be the one God of Israel, the one God of creation revealed in flesh. We see him inside verse 9. He said, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. bodily. The Godhead, it means the attributes of God. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul be the talk now say, all the attributes of God, they be dwell in Jesus. Jesus. Okay, he also show, say Jesus Christ, by his death, burial, and resurrection, he blot out the handwriting of ordinances, that is including the law of the Sabbath, the ceremonial law of Israel, it be blotted out. We see inside verse 14, say, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Jesus be talk say he go fulfill the law. So he be abolish this ceremonial law of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. He nail him to his cross. He take him out of the way. He take him out of the way. The next thing we Apostle Paul is showing for here and say, Jesus, he don't give us a new bird. He don't bring us into the fulfillment of these ceremonial laws. If we see from verse 12, he talks say, buried with him by baptism. In fact, which would you read them now? Now the Acts 2 38 born again experience. Mm -hmm. He say, buried with him by baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the oppression of God, who had raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, had he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Now the Acts 2, 38 born again experience this. Mm -hmm. It just the like way to Apostle Paul will talk in Romans chapter 6. Where we talk say, we'll be crucified with Christ, we'll be buried with Christ, and we'll be risen with Christ. When a repentance, what a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins mm -hmm. and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. So it talks say, because say Jesus, it be God the Father revealed in flesh, and because he don't fulfill the ceremonial law, and because he will not be born again, we be the church of Jesus. Verse 16 now. He said, let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. <laughs> so because we be the born again church, may no man not judge we. By the law of the Sabbath. May mm -hmm. somebody, you know, can begin tell you, say, you get for keep Sabbath. You get for observe Sabbath. We are the church. We don't get into the rest. We don't get into way to way Sabbath stand for. Mm -hmm. Sabbath stand for rest. And rest, it be figurative of communion with God. Mm -hmm. When the Bible talks, say, God rest. I think you will find me will summarize for here very well. When the Bible talks, say, God be rest on the seventh day. It don't mean, say, God be be tired. Mm -hmm. Because as God, you know, if he be tired, God. when he talks, say God be rest on the seventh day, it means say God be fellowship with your creation. He be admire your creation for derive pleasure, pleasure. for get pleasure, for be pleased. Because mm -hmm. every designer, everybody will create something. He be observe that thing for get pleasure from the work where he don't produce them. So when the Bible say God be rest, it simply means say God be get pleasure. And when God be called man, say make it join ye to rest as in the law of the Sabbath, he be called man into fellowship. So the aspect of physical rest will be there for dinner because if man he be busy with the business of this world, he no go fit put attention on God. Mm -hmm. God he want that communion with man. So God be disconnect man from earthly activities now so that man mm -hmm. fit for put your focus on him. Mm -hmm. But in the New Testament, our communion with God, it be based on God, his spirit in us. We be now spiritually linked, connected with God for where we, we get full access. 
We get full access to God. I want to give some example here. Adam in the garden, you know, be the observed Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Adam be rather the eat of the tree of oh, life. life. And wait till that one imply and say, Adam be the get fellowship with God at the tree of life. Mm-hmm. No be be on a day. No be on a day. Mm-hmm. So a day be be given now to fallen Israelites. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit in the New Testament, it don't bring us back to connection with God. Mm-hmm. We get that spiritual line open and our rest it be now in the spirit. Because Jesus, he don't give us rest in our spirit. We get joy. We get peace inside of us. No matter what way it happen in this world, we get joy. We get peace in our spirit. Now that rest that with the Lord Jesus, he don't give us. Mm-hmm. As the Bible talks for Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 say, For the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace. These elements of the fruit of the spirit, joy and peace. Now that rest, yes. we will don't receive them. In the Holy Spirit, in our born again experience, in our reunion with God, in our reconciliation with God. God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. So we, as the New Testament church, will not be judged by the law of the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. This guy, the for town here, we, that he go on the streets, what I tell people say, if you did worship on Sunday, you know, be a child of God. You de- disobey God, ye Sabbath, and so on. These guys are empty. These guys are not born again. They have not entered God's rest. They're still there in shadows. Mm-hmm. With shadows. the reality, we don't come. With reality, don't come. <laughs> if reality can, you remain for shadow. You remain for shadow. You inside darkness. <laughs> for shadow, not darkness. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, that day of rest be actually the point that to the time of Christ. Mm-hmm. The and night. the rest where he will give us in our spirit. Jesus said, come unto me and I will give you rest. The guy, they said, they will not come unto Jesus. They will not receive the spirit of Christ. They said they will remain them with a day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, an apostle Paul, he talked for years, say, the day that is Sabbath, it will be a shadow of things to come. But the body, that is to say, wait, wait, the shadow will be the point to not Christ. Christ. So many people, they receive Christ in them because Christ will be that rest. Come unto me and I will give you rest. Okay, the New Testament church, for show how they be be free from the law of the Sabbath, they be start the fellowship even on the first day of the week. Mm-hmm. Yes. First day of the week. They not be like hold themselves to the law of the Sabbath, say we, we get for the fellowship only on Sabbath. Or sa-. No, 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 mm-hmm. no, no. They be don't understand, say, Worshipping God now in spirit. In spirit. Yes, so they be free use any day for fellowship. Mm-hmm. Because worship be different from fellowship. Mm-hmm. We'll discuss that one way. We will not open our telephone lines. But for now, may we show some scriptures in the Bible where the proof say the early church, there be the fellowship on the first day of the week. Take note, mm-hmm. fellowship, not worship. Mm-hmm. There be the fellowship on the first day of the week. Mm-hmm. We get Acts uh, chapter 20 verse 7. And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continued his speech until midnight. Okay, upon the first day of the week, they become for take communion. Mm-hmm. Because it will be a day where they will not agree for the fellowship. Mm-hmm. Fellowship, not worship. Not worship. So there will be fellowship and they will take this fellowship meal when a communion. Then you also get First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 2. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him a store in store, as God had prospered him, that there be no gathering when I come. When I come. Okay, Apostle Paul will talk to the church at Corinth, the church in Gentile land. He tell them, say, upon the first day of the week. They will make some collection where they will send them to support the church at Jerusalem. So he talks say when we gather for fellowship, may we not make this contribution. Mm-hmm. But why they be gather on the first day of the week? Because they no be be bound to the law of the Sabbath, mm-hmm. and because say if it don't be accepted by them for the fellowship on the first day of the week, this guy they for town here they need for understand these things and they repent. Wait wait they need them that they born again experience. They no need. For begin to observe a day 
in this uh, New Testament era. At this point, we go pray and we go open our telephone lines so that uh, everybody go get the chance now for come in as we go continue for deliberate. Heavenly Father, we thank you for teaching us tonight. Your word is clear. We thank you that you have given us insight into your word and uh, you have brought us into proper rest. We are now born again of water and of the spirit. We are now your children reconciled with you, having peace and communion with you, O oh God. Yes. We thank you for this sonship that we have. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, by the spirit, we are able to relate with you to the fullest. For our people in this town who are still walking in the shadows, who are still dancing in falsehood, we pray for their liberation in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Father, thank and you. ask for your wisdom and blessing on our interactive face in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, our telephone lines will be open now. The two telephone numbers, them are the usual ones, them, MTN and Nextel. The MTN line, na 677-4397. Three one six seven seven four three nine seven three one six seven seven four three nine seven three one. The next tail line na six six eight eight seven zero nine one four. 